Hello everyone, I'm Laurel and welcome to my channel. I'm experimenting with some fresh flowers today. So I'd like to make this cute little unicorn, but I want to put some fresh flowers inside and I'm not sure how this is going to work out. So this is just an experiment. So let's see, I have all these different things I can put into that. I think I'm going to make the, the little top part, the like little unicorn part. I'm going to use these little stars and I'm going to use this for the unicorn's mane, I think. I just have to see how it goes. And then I'm going to put fresh flowers in there to like just inside his body. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. So let's see. So if you're doing something like this, just, you know, UV resin, you know, a mixing bowl, mixing utensil, I'm trying to find one that I can use. This is just something I thought up like last minute. So, and since it's a nice day and, and this is so large, after I get the main portions of it cured under the light, I will take it outside and have it cure really well under the sunlight. So, okay, so, so I want to do that little unicorn part and it's so tiny and it's way in there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. If I should just put the stars in first. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll put some of the stars in first and see if I can get some out without making a mess. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. Oh, and they're all over the place. Yee. A lot of static to this. A lot of static. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so. All right, so first I'll put a little bit of resin down inside there. I think I got some in there. I don't have my usual lights on, so let me get my usual lights turned on. There we go. All right, so there is some down there from what I can see. So I'm just going to pick some of these up oops, and try to get them into there. Somehow I know this is not going to work, but I'm going to try anyways. I can't get these up for some reason. There we go. And the thing too is there may be, you know, a couple little stars here and there, which I, I think I might keep that way. I mean, it couldn't hurt. Okay. I'm going to add a little more resin in there. I know you can't see. I don't know. I don't know if you can. But the little stars are kind of going in there. And then they're also trying to sit in other places too. So I'm just trying to be careful. Especially with this. These tweezers. They're really sharp. And I don't want to damage the mold and pierce it by accident. So, all right. All right, I think they're in there. So just set this over here and now I'm going to cure it. All right, I cured it for 90 seconds and now I'm going to try to do the main. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> 
usually with the bigger molds I just put one color in there and that's it but yeah, we'll just drop some of the flakes in there this is just going to be a hot mess when I'm done I'm telling you but I'm just making you know just a little A little desk friend so I'm not really you know I'm going to make it perfect if it's not perfect that's fine so I'm gonna cure this for another 90 seconds all right so his mane comes down this way so I'm going to just turn it sideways and then fill that in with some resin and then Add some more of these flakes. Now remember, this is just all experimental. If it doesn't come out the way I want it, it's still, you know, fine. And that's the thing. You just take a chance with the projects that you're making. You don't have to make them perfect. You're just trying them out. And then maybe next time when you do it, you'll you'll have a little better idea of what you want to do. Okay, I don't know if you can see that in there. So I'm going to cure that for another 90 seconds. Okay, so a one spot was missed, so I'm just going to add a little more. And I'm just going to take this and just kind of get some in there. That worked a little better than trying to get them in with the tweezers. I just tapped this in there. So now we're going to cure again for 90 seconds. Okay, so the main is filled up. You can see it inside. And then you can see it along here. I'm not sure like if there's that many stars in there but I don't know so I wanted to put fresh lilacs in here so I'm just going to clip a little bunch off Let's see sorry if my arms in the way but I have a little bouquet of lilacs and I'm just going to Place it inside carefully. Kind of want it to go up to his head, but I don't know if it's going to. Oh, come on, get up there. Hmm. This isn't working like I thought it would. Oh, I think we got it up there there trying to just fluff them up so that the flowers look nice in here oops now it went out of then oh get it up there all right so I don't know if you can see it but the flowers are up there and I'm going to start pouring resin in there until it fills up all the way. I'm used to using dried flowers, not not so much fresh. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully this will work. This is going to take some time filling it up. It's getting there. Now these little um, molds, they look small, but they do take a lot of resin. So if you don't want to use 
all your UV resin to do this. You can use just the regular resin and mix that up, the two-part resin. And that might be faster and easier. Okay, now I do think I might need to add a couple more because he has a little tail there and just make a little bubble there that I don't want. Okay, wipe that off. And I'm just going to clip off another little piece and see if I can I have to do this very carefully so I don't dump it um, okay so we got this little piece I'm just going to try to insert that and get it into oh there we go got it right into his tail like so and let me see if I can just pick off a few more And then just place those inside, like so. All right, and now I'm going to cure this for about three minutes under the light, and then I want to take it outside and let it sit outside and cure really well so it cures all the way through the entire mold. Okay, so it sat outside for about an hour and a half. And it's really sunny. It's not really hot, but it is really sunny out there today. So let's just see what happens with this. I don't even know how to get this off. All right, there we go. Oh, okay. Let's just see. Hopefully it'll look nice. I don't know. It's hard to get off. Who comes up with these molds? <laughs> They're just so difficult. All right. Oh, you can see the mane. Let's see if we can get his head out. Oh, it's coming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, he is a lot cuter than I thought. Look at that. Can you see? I don't know if it. You can see it. Little stars in there that kind of like escaped from up here. There's not too many up there, just a few. Um, little blue piece here. But all in all, I don't know why this isn't. For some reason, it's not focusing. I don't know why. It's doing that now so so all in all we've got some lilacs in there and we did the main and we got a couple of stars up there I thought I'd get more but apparently they must have just came out and there's a couple of stars there but it came out really cute so this is my little dusk pal yeah, he's going to be, like there's these little bits here. I'm just going to trim that off. And, um, and then he's going to be sitting on my desk watching me do some more. I don't know why this is not focusing. Oh, so he's going to be sitting on my desk, you know, while I'm doing my resin pieces. And he's going to be watching me. So this is my little desk friend. And he will see you soon. Bye-bye. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and press that bell for notifications of my upcoming videos. Also, in the description box below, you will find links to my jewelry, my artwork, and photography. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.